Hi YouTube, Jacob Graham here for Unix Soldier. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Arch Linux. Arch Linux is something new I've been working on uh, for the last little bit, couple weeks maybe. Um, and what it is, is it's an operating system where you build from scratch. Kind of like Debian or Slackware, except Arch comes with all the latest bleeding edge packages. So you have the latest Chrome, you have the latest whatever desktop environment you're running, whether you're KDE, GNOME 3, whatever it is, you have the latest version. And because you get the latest version, it's the quite the opposite of the Debian mind. The Debian mind, of course, if you're not aware, is you know we hold back on a lot of these updates and packages and bleeding edge software until it's been religiously like tested and scrutinized and you know really looked at. Um, Arch is totally different. Arch, uh, their packages are still tested in the official repos and uh, of course in the AUR too. Um, but the difference is the packages are put out right away. So we always had the latest versions of everything. So, you know, with Arch, you start from the top, you mount your file system, you do everything um, yourself. You install your desktop environment, you install Mesa, you install your drivers, you install everything yourself. And because of doing it this way, I begin to get a really good idea of how to, you know, a system really works underneath. You know, you start to realize hey, that's what that thing was for in Windows. That was their version of, you know, Mesa, for instance. And, you know, little things click, and you really start to learn more by picking up operating systems like this. Because with, you know, ones that have these out-of-box experience, these OBEs, you know, they're they're quite simple, right? I mean, you don't really learn anything. I mean, you, you think you learn a little bit, but you don't. You don't learn anything. It does everything for you in a GUI. It installs really easy. And Arch is completely opposite. You can also compile your own software in Arch, which is kind of cool if you're a Debian fan or a Gentoo fan. Um, a lot of people who've gone into Gentoo have gone back to Arch because compiling was just too much work for them. Um, some people have gone the other way and stayed with Gentoo, so it really depends on what you like. Um, I really like Arch Linux and the stuff that's available, and most stuff that I can't find in the official repos is available um, in the AUR, and you know, I kind of find um, looking for dependencies and you know installing those packages the hard way a little more fun, but that's really where you, you know if you try Arch, you're really going to decide for yourself: is this for me or you know am I am I an Ubuntu guy? And there's nothing wrong. Like I really don't like Linux guys who diss Ubuntu guys. You know um, why, right? Because <clears throat> anyway, I don't want to get into that debate. But what I'm trying to say is. Um, yeah, if you're if you're happy with Ubuntu, there's no shame there, and Arch is really cool. And I think that you know, um, with, with distro hopping, as we call it in the in the industry, you really got to um, you really got to just kind of decide for yourself what's right, right? Because not everything that's right for me is going to be right for you. I mean, Pacman is a lot of work to use. Um, it's the fastest package manager in the world. That's uh, the one that comes with Arch. It's called Pacman. Um, it's a little cumbersome, but I really like it because it's faster when you know the commands well. And, you know, a lot of people just don't want to go there. They just rather go to a software center like Ubuntu and click and install their software and everything works fine. And uh, that's great too, but I, I really like Arch Linux. Um, <clears throat> Arch Linux is one of the fastest Linux distributions you can get. Um, it's even faster if you compile your own kernel. Um, and it uses uh, System D, which is a new architecture that doesn't support BSD systems and those kind of init scripts. It kind of chucks init out System D and does its own thing um, to to boot the system. And there's a lot of different changes there. Um, I don't know this to be a fact, but it seemed like I had an issue before with uh, Windows mount points I made inside my home folder. Um, seems like System D doesn't like those. So there's a lot of different things. Um, you gotta watch out for it if you start using Arch, but I think you'd learn a lot more using Arch than say Ubuntu. Um, another great distribution to check out is called Gentoo, like I've mentioned. The way I would compare Arch to Gentoo is it's pretty much the same thing, except, well, it's totally different, but um, to the user, it's pretty much the same thing, except you have to compile, but all the software underneath is different. They use OpenRC, not uh, SystemD. Um, but Gen 2 is pretty much the same. You get pretty new packages. I wouldn't say 100% bleeding edge, but you really get speed using Gen 2 com compared to Arch, if anyone says anyway. I haven't used uh, Gen 2 yet. But yeah, that pretty much 
formulates what I wanted to say about Arch. I think you guys should, should check it out. Um, the wiki is a little daunting at first. I had to have somebody walk me right through it at first. But if you give it a shot and maybe ask somebody on you know one of our Linux forums, um, if you go to the official Arch group, I'd, I'd love to help anybody who's interested in trying this awesome distro out. It's the fastest uh, experience I've ever had. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.